and we're live so what's going on guys it's your boy mookbird coming to you live with a, another video this time we're looking at the hideout and specifically we're going to be looking at the scav case option um, you can see it's in orange here i'm pretty sure that all of these if my memory is correct you have to pretty much get just about if not everything up to level three uh, so it does take a while to upgrade however once you get there um, a lot of things can start to become worth it, just like the Bitcoin farm, the boost generator, water collector, um, definitely the solar power in my opinion, but we can get into that in another video. What we're looking at here today is the SCAV case and more specifically looking at the 70,000 rubles option. So as you can see, I'm actually uh, doing a folder with intelligence run right now. That's going to take about five and a half hours, but this one specifically, um, if I wasn't running one, you would see that it costs 70,000 rubles. Uh, for this option and it takes two hours and 15 minutes to complete so the turnaround time for this scab case um, If you're a casual player uh, You know, it's it's not too much time where you could get a few raids in and you know before you get off Just punch it on again. That way we get back the next day um, You've got you know stuff waiting for you from your scabs uh, what I did for this test was I ran it 50 times, so it took a little while, but um, uh, I'll show the profits here. I, I've got 50 screenshots of what I was able to um, get off of these scavs, or rather how these scavs bring to me, and I'll let you guys know if it was worth it. Um, I'll, I'll kind of give you the cost of each one as well as how much I spent in total. So I'll go ahead and roll that clip right now, just of all the screenshots of the 70,000 rubles scav case, and then we'll meet back up at the end and kind of discuss whether it was worth it or not. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, after those 50 uh, screenshots of the 70,000 rubble option scav case, uh, there was quite a bit of variance. So, you know, it, it really depends on where you are in the wipe as to how much they're going to cost. I'm, you know, we're about three months into this wipe, so a lot of those uh, items that were shown, their prices have gone down drastically in value just because people have maxed out their hideouts, uh, people have finished quests. That sort of thing, and you know, found out that certain keys weren't weren't worth much. So keys are going to fluctuate, obviously, as new patches come in, and things like folders with intelligence. That one of those screenshots that we had, uh, they were as low as I think 40k, and all of a sudden, since they introduced the folder with intelligence scav case option, it shot up to it's 
between 200 and 300, 200 and 230 K. Um, so, you know, obviously these prices are going to fluctuate. It's as long as you're consistent, I think it potentially is worth it. We ended up spending 3.5 mil just on running it. And we came back with 3.598 mil. So we did, you know, just nearly get a profit there and added 98 K. Um, if you're going to do it consistently, it probably is worth it. If you're not, if you don't get on too often, you're only running it, you know, a couple times a week. Whereas I was running it probably, probably three to four times a day uh, to get to hit 50 as soon as I could. Um, you know, maybe, maybe it won't end up being worth it for you. I think that's the overall consensus with the hideout in general, that if you get on enough to be able to check things, then yes, it is worth it if you are more of a casual player. Um, you know, like a lot of people say, it probably is not worth it. Just get in for the gunfights and, and whatnot. But a great way to make money um, if, you know, you're short for it. The other thing is, for questing specifically, everything found here by scavs is found in raid, considered found in raid. So that's a big bonus on my end um, if you're trying to complete those as quick as possible things like the tank battery that i think we got two of those uh, that's something that's kind of tough to find and even if you find it you're lugging around that much weight it slows you down you potentially could die with it from you know that's a sniper on reserve um the beard oil that we found you know there's like some super rare items that maybe you don't know where the spawns are um stuff like that it can really help you progress as far as questing goes specifically. So for that reason, you know, even if you are casual, uh, that's a great option to be running this as much as you can. Just throw it on right before you go to bed when you log off. Um, you'll come back and your scabs will have found something. Maybe you go to play for two hours. Um, it takes two and a half, two hours and 15 minutes to run this. So, you know, you potentially have two options a day, depending on how much you play or more. Um, to be able to get some found in raid items. So uh, with that being said, I think it still, you know, just barely is worth it just because we just barely got the profit and because everything's found in raid. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this video and want to see more, I am currently working on, like I said, the folder with intelligence option. I think this is like my third or fourth one. So it's going to take at least double for me to be able to get this one out simply because it takes, um, like five five hours and 20 minutes whereas the 70,000 ruble option takes two hours and 15 like I said um, this is all my own uh, research done all my own screenshots so it you know just wanted to give you guys as uh, clear as possible as to you know what you can expect from these scab case um, runners so yeah if you guys like the video please drop a like it took a while to make um, I'd appreciate the support and whatever else you guys want to see I'm working on another video right now that should be out shortly where I'm looking at uh, things like Bitcoin farm um, solar panel you know just about everything in the hideout that you may not necessarily know about um, stuff like you know different ammo you can make depending on the price uh, I'll dive into detail for small money makers you can do in your hideout just you know passively so yeah appreciate the support guys um and we'll see you in the next one peace